Hi Libra, welcome to my channel. My name is Kem. Today, Libra, you guys got Wolf Spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom, number 67. I feel like you're about to have something that you've wanted for a very long time. I feel like it's going to happen for you. Now, you could be a masculine and you could be hoping for a union with a feminine or you could be a feminine and this is them saying like your hopes, your dreams is whatever that hope, whatever that dream is, it's about to come true. Like I honestly feel like some fairy godmother vibe here um, with the stars and the main female. So I'm definitely getting, yeah, and we have an ace here. So yeah, I, th I definitely think this has to do with a soulmate, with the 11, um, with the divine, with the seven. Um, and they're trying to communicate something to you at this time. I feel like they're trying to tell you not to worry, to like ease your mind that like everything is working out in divine timing, everything is working out um, the best way that it should. Sometimes we don't know the best way because <laughs> um, we just want it to be our way, but they're telling me that like it's the best way, whatever that means. <laughs> so again, that means that it's in the highest good of everyone, not just like in your highest good, but in everyone's highest good. So something is definitely unfolding. Something is definitely, a wish is definitely going to come true for you, Libra. Some, some sort of hope or wish or dream is going to like happen for you. And I feel like fairly soon, but they're telling you to like just chill. <laughs> um, to not like try to push anything. Um, anything that doesn't serve you at this time, don't try to like push anything. Because again, anything that's yours is going to be yours. Do you know what I'm saying? And this already seems to be yours. It's just unfolding. So that's what I'm getting, Libra. Let's pull some cards on this. So Libra, I feel like this is exactly what the meditative session was saying. You're not going to see this coming. The reason that you're coming up in reverse is not because you're like not intuitive, it's not because like you can't see what's coming. Like no, it has nothing to do with like your abilities. It has a lot to do with the fact that you're being shielded from everything around you. Do you see how like you're here with divine timing? the divine timing card and you're kind of like just they, again they just have you sitting here you know like they just have you living your life and when the right opportunity comes you'll know it right and now what's going on around you there's a lot going around around you and everything is happening in divine timing but again it's nothing that you can see um it's like other players have to move for you to be able to make your move. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I, there's like nothing that you need to be doing right now. That's what I'm getting. Like, you should just be, you should just be content and open and, you know, whatever you're doing right now, if you're happy, like continue doing it. Because again, I do see this ace coming for you, right? Now, the ace can talk a lot about finances because it is a pentacle, but I'm not really getting that. I'm getting more of a new opportunity coming for you. Like this is the door that they want you to open when it's the right time, right? And you're like, well, how will I know the door is around? And you're, they're like, well, you just will see it or you'll just know, right? With the wisdom card. So again, there's nothing that you need to be doing. This is all like in someone else's hands. That's why I'm getting like someone else has to play their part and play their role. Um, but I am getting like, don't, I am getting the energy to tell you just because something isn't here yet doesn't mean it's not going to come so you know don't get into this like negative energy or this mindset that you know nothing's coming for you or like you've been waiting long and you haven't seen it um again everything they're saying divine timing so there is someone else here with the king of wands this can be an aries a leo or a sagittarius and this is the person that has a lot of things going on around them. <laughs> this is the person that you see how you guys are like intertwined 
Um, like they're intertwined in your reading, they're actually coming up pretty close to you, but they're the ones that I feel like have to turn the wheel for themselves. So it's like you've already maybe turned this wheel and it's their turn to turn the wheel. But the only way for them to turn this wheel is for them to, to move forward. So again, like what does moving forward mean to them? Um, getting out of some sort of karmic loop with the toilet and labor card. This speaks of karma to me. So I think it's taken them years because this pathway card to me speaks about years. So I think it, this person's been in a karmic cycle for a while. They need to get out of it themselves. Again, this has nothing to do with you in a sense, like not in terms of like your actions, like you having to do something, you don't have to do anything. You know what I mean? It's them right now that has to do whatever it is that they need to do. Um, I feel like this person could have been in your relationship with the Queen of Cups in reverse. But do you see how with the Four of Swords, they're telling this person to get a move on? <laughs> um, they keep telling this person, like, it's time to move. It's time to go. Like, this person is kind of, like, past the due date. That's what I want to say. Like, they're past the date that they should have had been doing this. <laughs> Like, I'm getting here that with the self in reverse, they have to realize that things are not going right and that things are going actually terribly wrong for them to start moving. So that's that's the point that this person has gotten to. I'm surprised there's no tower out here, to be honest, because it feels like they've been stalling. Um, but again, maybe that's why the tower is not here, because everything is happening in divine timing. So actually, maybe this person is doing everything at the perfect timing, soul's timing, right? I kind of get the energy of like, well, why isn't this person at the same page as Libra, which would mean to me like, you know, maybe they, they are behind in some sort of way, but they're not um, with divine timing. Even I was wrong. Like, again, if they were stalling or they were wrong about something and they were waiting too long, the tower would be here. So again, I haven't gotten the tower yet. So I'm getting that this person is actually just doing things at the soul timing. And soul timing, again, could be slow, but um, that is perfect timing, right? Soul timing. So this person is going to turn the wheel. Again, turning the wheel is going forward. Now, I get on their end, I, I get what you can do on your end, and I get what they have to do on their end. On your end, you're just supposed to, again, remain open. You know, like, remain in this, like, positive energy of being very open, of being very... Um, like at peace, that's the word, like at peace, like um, you're very open to whatever's coming towards you again. Um, and then this person, again, what are they going through at this time? I feel like this person, they're again, dealing with getting out of a situation, having to move forward. And what does that look like in their life? You know, everybody moving forward for everyone's going to be different. Getting out of some sort of karma is going to be different for everyone. I feel like this involves a relationship, like a karmic relationship. It doesn't necessarily have to be, but I do have a queen of earth here. And that usually symbolizes someone who, you know, you were like married to or committed to. Um, them coming up in reverse is someone who they're not with anymore, you know. Um, so with a sage here in reverse, this is something else that I feel like they're dealing with. So it's like, again, while you're just being open, while you're just sitting there, Again, you're not sitting. <laughs> it's just the energy of like being very open, being very at peace. They're going through something that's teaching them. You know, we have turned knowledge into wisdom. And I feel like, again, that correlates into your life because this person is supposed to somehow meet with you. But at the same time, I already feel like you're kind of done with your work in a sense for now like you know we always have work to do but like for right now i feel like again this doesn't un involve you i feel like this turning knowledge into wisdom involves this other person in order for them to move forward in order for them to turn the wheel and that's by them feeling very uncomfortable again with the self un in reverse this is like past the point where you know, they have to make a decision because they're very uncomfortable. So like the divine is putting someone in a very uncomfortable situation so that they have to move, right? And that's what I'm getting here. See, like there is no secrets here. There is no like, I'm confused. I don't know what to do. I don't know, you know, <laughs> um, where I should be headed. They're making it very clear by making this person very uncomfortable. That's what I'm getting. By making them very uncomfortable, they have to force, it forces them to have to do something to change this um, uncomfortable feeling that they're feeling. So they're coming up bright, this masculine. They're coming up bright. 
and they're also coming up right here with the main male so there's someone here who's a sage in reverse um, and I'm getting that that could be this mature man we go from the main male to the mature man again this could just be how this person is evolving um, how this person is maturing from this experience and again them having to get themselves out of an uncomfortable situation is helping this person turn the wheel aka like evolve um mature right but i'm also getting that this could be someone else you know like this mature man could be the sage in reverse and i think that i think it's someone else to be honest and i think that this is the person that you know for whoever this person is this this main male it's going to be hard for them because it's not just on one front that they're dealing you see like when when the divine is trying to make you move and shift everything becomes a problem so it's not just the relationship that's an issue there's something else here that's an issue with the sage in reverse and the mature man and i think it could be like a family issue to be honest so it's like on top of it being uncomfortable for them to a point with this this relationship that they can't deal with it anymore there's something going on in their life where i feel like they have a lot of expectations i feel like there's a lot of manipulation the sage in reverse is someone who's a lot older and they know how to manipulate because they're so old <laughs> you know what i mean like you can only learn how to use this type of manipulation when you have a lot of experience right like a young person an innocent child doesn't know really how to manipulate they get taught that right through seeing it happen over and over again um like i feel like we're all born innocent right and then we learn what we learn so this person here they use their power in a manipulative manner like this person is very manipulative and i think that our main male is going through something that is causing not just again it's like a war on every front do you know what i'm saying it's causing but why is this happening to this person because this person is um, shifting this person is moving and you know right before a shift right before something like you know a really big shift in someone's life there there seems I mean there doesn't have to always be this way but for this particular person in this situation this person has to fight a front like a war on every front so now it's like not only just like relationships and love but it's like family with the mature man and the sage so yeah there's something about how even the relationship with message of concern is tied to expectations it's tied to what this sage wants so again there seems to just be like again everything happening all at once for this person and, it, and this is like sink or swim you know um but i do see this person turning the wheel even though we have the wheel in reverse i think they're just showing that this person is about to turn the wheel, but only after they use the three of wands. And the three of wands is when somebody decides to move. You know, like it's there's no more planning. It's actually time for action. So the only way that this wheel is going to turn and all, the only way this relationship is going to be resolved, like the ending of it, the disillusion of it, the same thing with like this parent figure, the manipulation behind it, whatever this person is saying with expectation. Again, maybe this person doesn't want them to break up. Maybe this person, you know, I don't, want to get into family dynamics but i definitely feel like th this is a manipulative father figure perhaps and this person you know maybe they're going against um they're causing a problem as well um and again the relationship seems to be tied to it with the message of concern but see everything here is unbalanced and that's why yeah every there's lies here there's imbalance but the good thing is that this is something that can be seen like this main male is not confused like that's the most important thing like if the main male was very confused they wouldn't know what the fuck to do because there's a lot going on but i'm seeing here that the yeah i'm seeing here that this main male they're feeling the pressure on all angles but they're not confused which is the most important thing so it doesn't matter and I see, again, this is like a form of manipulation with this gift. Um, I feel like that's this mature man trying to like, you know, when we try to disguise something, I feel like the, the main, the mature man is trying to disguise something. But even that is being seen through by the main male. Like this main male cannot be confused. They're very sure of what's going on. So it's it's kind of sad that on all fronts, this person is dealing with stress and like, 
maybe I mean I'm getting the nine of swords which can indicate lies right but the funny thing is there's an imbalance there's imbalance there's lies but this main male sees there's emotional manipulation exactly there's all those things are going on for this person so it's like this person has to get through this karma <laughs> um, to move forward and they will that's what I'm getting with the three of wands upright they will And again, where do you stand in all this, Libra? I just feel like, again, this could be reversed, but I just feel like this is you. Like, you're just sitting. I don't know why I keep saying sitting. Maybe you're sitting right now. I don't know. I'm assuming you're sitting if you're listening to this, but I mean, maybe you're not. Um, <laughs> but I just see, like, you're, like, very open. So I think that's the key for you, to, to remain open, even though you don't know what's coming next for you. To remain open and positive and, you know, I, I heard the word like cheerful like you see how this guy's like smiling I feel like there's a lot to smile about that's what I'm getting like there's a lot to smile about and if you don't like focus on this what's going on like your life is actually going pretty well <laughs> that's what I'm hearing and I think it's funny because as someone here is going through karma and they're going through like a very grim process with like family and breakups and shit like that you're chilling you know what i mean and the the reason again that you're not supposed to you're not you're supposed to you're not supposed to be involved which is why you're coming up in reverse so again i don't know exactly i was gonna say i don't know timing we have literally the divine timing card so i can't say when any of this is going to take place like this is already like in the process that's what i'm getting with this um, the breakup could have already happened. Like, I don't I don't know when anything happened, but I just see everything's happening at the correct timing, which is soul timing. So there's nothing to worry about. So let's pull some advice for you, Libra. So yeah, I'm getting here, Libra with safety at the bottom like again there's this element of you remaining safe because again this is not like your shit to deal with at this time um and i'm getting here with metamorphosis that like this person is going through a transformation this person is going through a very big change in their life and again um i feel like new this new opportunity is involved is it involves them in a sense but to another degree it like doesn't do you know what i'm saying like yeah um if you wish to like be with this person then yeah obviously this ace of pentacles involves them like this new opportunity involves them to, to a certain extent but i'm getting here that like what's meant for you is going to come for you so it doesn't even matter whatever this person chooses it doesn't matter <laughs> like you're going to have this ace of pentacles no matter what like the divine doesn't play when it comes to an ace if it's yours it's yours do you know what i'm saying so i also feel like you're already sitting in this ace of pentacle energy because you're again you're on like i feel like you know you're you two are kind of on different timelines in a sense where like you're over here like living your best life and they're still in this karmic cycle but once they get out of it then they can kind of shift into your new beginning do you know what i'm saying like but until they make those moves they they don't belong in that area do you know what i'm saying so i'm getting it's like they don't belong up here because they're still dealing with the bullshit down here <laughs> um and again it's up to them so again with communication i feel like when it's the right timing this person will communicate but again everything is due to like divine timing you can't force anything but again they're going through this major metamorphosis this major transformation and i feel like honestly only you could understand what this is like because i feel like you've already gone through it right it's kind of like again when we talk about the butterfly to the the caterpillar to the butterfly um, it's like you're already the butterfly and they're the caterpillar. So they have to evolve. They have to move. They have to have this metamorphosis. If they don't choose to have this metamorphosis, then the two of you will not be able to be in sync, obviously, because a caterpillar and a butterfly, it just wouldn't work out. <laughs> so yeah, um, with Yeji Zogyal, Lady of the Lotus Born, embodiment is the deepest bliss. My body was made for enlightenment. This is, I feel like you, because I feel like, again, there's something about how the openness of the arms, you know what I mean? Like the openness of the, the two figures. Um, I'm definitely getting like, again, that you've already gone through this transformation or gone through a similar transformation in your life. And this person is going through theirs right now. And I feel like, again, only you could really understand this process. 
and I feel like you kind of want to help this person but I think this is something that needs to be done on their own so if some of you guys are thinking of reaching out I think that that would be a mistake I think this is something that you know we have to go through on our own with the divine I think it also brings you closer to the divine when you know you have to depend on yourself and you know you're like well somebody needs to help me and in that you might like reach out to the divine so I feel like everything is kind of happening exactly in divine timing i don't i keep saying divine timing but it really is and there's nothing really that you need to do um i guess you talks gal talks a lot about yoga um like how to embody how to become an like um an enlightened and it be in your body is by doing a lot of yoga um i think that's i want to see what else they say about yeji zogyal but i know it has a lot to do with yoga so yeah it talks a lot about how she spent many years isolated in meditation, accomplishing several cycles of tantric spiritual practices. She received esoteric initiations and became known as a fully enlightened Buddha in the form of an ordinary woman. Um, and yeah, it just goes on to say, yeah, how our body is very important. It's the vehicle, right, to free us from the idea that there are any limitations. So yeah, I'm getting, again, this is the time Maybe not to sit. I kept saying like you're sitting. Maybe if that helps you to like meditate to sit. But if like meditation to you is something different. Like maybe you just like to do yoga. Maybe you like to like move the body. This is the time to do that. I feel like this is the time to kind of think about yourself. And how you can like help yourself become more embodied at this time. Again you don't have to worry about whatever's playing down here. I mean maybe you have to be patient. But I don't think it's going to take as long as you think because the patience card didn't even come out. You know, like I think this is actually going to be something that, again, if you're embodied and you're like living on a daily basis, day to day, like just doing your own thing, then this is going to happen a lot quicker than you think. Like it's just going to happen eventually. You're not going to even think about it. But if you're sitting here wondering every single day what's going to happen, then it's going to take longer, right? So that's what I'm getting, Libra. I love you guys. <laughs> I hope this helps. And I'll see you next time. Bye.